guys, it's Amy Monster here with my first video of 2019 and I'm a month late and I feel awful about it because I really haven't been making much art, uh, to be honest. Um, and I feel awful about not making that much art. Um, a lot's been going on, well not a lot, but um, Christmas, you know, was a busy time. I was spending time with friends and family um, and just enjoying being sociable which is real really rare for me I'm not a sociable person um, I tend to be a very big homebody but it was nice and I enjoyed it and um, I did have ideas for art but I just for some reason I couldn't translate anything and I got really stuck in my head and when I do that I tend to procrastinate um, and that's that's not good but it's my way of coping so um, I tend to play video games or watch TV um, or read a book um, or do other things that don't involve <laughs> the thing that I'm stressing about because what happens is I, I tend when I when something doesn't look right I tend to stress so I kind of put art on the back burner and um, just decided to take a break um, from making videos and making art because I just I don't know I haven't been in the best headspace uh, so yeah um, but I, I mean so if there is a lack of drawing videos or art videos over the next few weeks I do apologize I am trying to make art but I do have ideas for other videos I've got a sketchbook tour that I need to work on and um, I have a, another um, draw this in your style drawing I did so um, I might just post that if you're interested in seeing it it's just a procreate video but um, yeah I um, really haven't been um, making art I have ideas I want to do a Kingdom Hearts piece um, because I, as I'm recording this I'm about to get Kingdom Hearts in 3 and I'm really excited it's been 84 years it feels like it anyway but um, yeah I want to do it into the Spider-Verse piece inspired not necessarily Spider-Sona but maybe like some Miles and Gwen art I don't know we'll see what happens but um, yeah I just haven't been feeling great so I should just forget stop rambling on and talk about this piece anyway I started this sketch that you see which I did in procreate um, late last year I think at the end of November beginning of December maybe mid-December I don't know and for those who are unaware of who I'm drawing it is Princess Bubblegum and Marceline the Vampire Queen from Adventure Time which is like one of my favorite cartoons and it ended last year and I only just saw the final episode I think at the end of last year again I think about just before I did this piece so I was really sad about that um, mind you, I'm really behind on it and when I watched the last episode I kind of had no idea what was going on, um, but um, I do plan on catching up at some point after I binge watch all the other stuff that I want to watch in the coming months, like um, I really want to sit down and rewatch Game of Thrones um, and I want to finish watching Marvel's uh, Runaways Season 2 and what else? There's, oh, American Gods starts in March. I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, um, I originally wanted to do this piece in gouache and um, because I just bought some gouache. I bought the um, Windsor & Newton designer gouache and I thought um, I only brought a couple of colours. I brought the primary colours and a black and white and I thought that I'd have enough colours to mix up to create Princess Bubblegum and Marceline the Vampire Queen. But when I started playing with the gouache on a smaller scale, I just, I couldn't for some reason get it to work. I just, I wasn't having luck with it. So I need, to, it's something I need to practice on. And I really wanted to do a large scale um, piece. So I just um, put it aside for a while. And then I came across this set of 30 Holbein watercolors from, um, 
a place called Carlisle Arts. Um, I think that's what it's called. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you're an Australian and you want to check it out. It is a really good sh art shop. Um, they do have a um, not a wide selection of their online stuff, but enough, I think. To, to keep any artist happy so I'll definitely leave a link in the description below um, I think they're located in Victoria um, and the postage for me was really great because I live in New South Wales but if you live somewhere else say Western Australia or something like that it is it'll probably take a little bit longer I don't know I don't know but anyway um, I did a smaller piece that I was originally gonna film but it just didn't seem right um, of Jester from Critical Role um, which I've been listening to quite a lot lately. Um, just as background noise, I only just, I'm, I'm really late to bandwagons. So um, I just recently came across because I saw people doing fan art of Critical Role and I wanted to check it out. And I realized that it has a lot of my favorite voice actors. So it works out, it works out okay. And I really like listening to it. Um, basically, if you don't know what Critical Role is, it's people playing, it's a bunch of voice actors playing Dungeons and Dragons and it's hilarious. I love it. I get a little giggle out of it every now and then and Jester is my favorite. I love Laura Bailey. She is adorable and um, her Jester voice is the cutest. But anyway, um, that's not what I'm talking about. But I did a Jester piece and I will have that up on my store eventually along with this. Um, so if you do want to purchase it, um, you should go f watch my store Envy store. Um, alternatively, if you like this piece or the Jester piece and you want to buy it before I put it on my shop, you can contact me through any of my social media and I will give you a price and um, yeah that's that I do intend to sell these so if you're interested in buying them you can hit me up on social media which is all linked down in the description below and I'm pretty active on all platforms so feel free to hit me up anywhere and even if I'm not I will reply because I do get notified anyway so the color palette for this I wanted to keep more on the purple side because I knew purple was going to be in the background and I tend to like to do that for shadows um, and I knew Princess Bobgum was going to be pink and I wanted to keep her quite um, as monochromatic as possible so um, they have this in the Holbein watercolors there's this really vibrant um, ne almost neon pink and I thought that would be really great for her hair um, bubblegum's hair and so I kind of mixed that into colors that I use for her clothes um, the outfit that I chose isn't the color that it is in the TV show but I decided to make it more pink to be a bit more cohesive um, I think bubblegum turned out the best as far as coloring um, Marceline I struggled a lot with I originally was gonna give her purple shadows um, and blue shadows not purple but the blue wasn't sitting nicely on the the gray uh, so I ended up using purple which was fine because like I said purple I was gonna use purple in the background and I knew that um, and I used it for her skin so and, and in the end it looked really nice it looked, she looks uh, quite um, I guess translucent in a way well I think she does anyway so um, there is that um, the thing that I struggled with the most was Marceline's jeans they turned out to be a big old mess and I'm still not 100% happy with them but in reality this is actually my third attempt of this drawing um, the first one the first two I, I don't know what I was thinking but with watercolors you tend to work from lightest to darkest and I decided that I was gonna work with the darkest colors first and that was a big mistake so in the first one I started on the background and that didn't turn out and then on the second one I don't know why but I decided to start with Marceline's hair um, and now that, that didn't work out um, I just couldn't get the colors to layer right I was a, a little it's been a while since I used tube watercolors I think the last lot of tube watercolors I owned were Reeves and they're not the best in terms of pigmentation um, and quality so um, I think this was a bit of a um, shock to the system when I got these ones because they're so vibrant you don't need a lot of water to get a lot of color payoff it's 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 really nice they almost have um, a bit of a wash cons consistency um, not quite um, there is a bit of a, like a, 
a plasticky kind of feel um, and I think they are Japanese I do believe I'm not 100% sure but they are really really nice and even when they're on the palette dry um, the color vibrancy is still there you can reactivate it with some water and that's the really nice thing about them um, watercolors tend to crumble um, but these don't so I'm really really happy with them I definitely will be repurchasing the colors that I use up um, the most so in bigger tubes too um, so I didn't record all of Marceline's jeans because they, they were a big old mess like I said I did I did a lot of lifting and if you see like a dirty looking rag um, I did use a rag to lift up the color and clean my brushes in between colors um, because I didn't have any paper towel I also don't really like using paper towel a hell of a lot because um, you know just um, I'm trying to be a bit more conscious about the environment um, I'm still not completely there but I, I am I am making steps and I feel like this is progress and um, also you know um, you run out of paper towel you don't a rag can just you can just leave it to dry give it a wash and it's right as rain um, so yeah I I just I like it a little bit better so I, I use a rag to, to um, it's not the best for lifting up watercolor but it, it works pretty well um, so yeah I'm, I'm currently doing the black of her hair um, so yeah I don't know what else to say um, I think the liner art didn't this this didn't translate the way I wanted to wanted it to in terms of um, the digital sketch like I really loved the line work of the digital sketch um, but in, in when I did the line art for this in the end it, something was lost and I was really like I'm still happy with this piece like I think it could be better but um, I really like the digital sketch so I think I might color that digitally and stream it at some point on Picato. I really want to get back into streaming this year. I, I've been wanting to stream. It's just really hard. Um, my uh, life is either really, really quiet or really, really busy. So like, there's no really in between. So it's really hard to kind of make time to, to kind of stream um, as regular, regularly as possible. My English is not the best and English is my first language. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and stream a bit more and we're getting pretty close to the end of this video. So I'm just gonna wrap up the talking um, by saying that I really hope you like this piece. Um, I finished the line art with a Tombow brush pen. I'm not sure what it is what it's called but I'll leave I'll try and list the items that I used in this piece in the description below the brushes that I used are um, no named brand ones um, I picked up some from Daiso they're really really nice for like $2.80 and um, some from the cheap sh shop I've got some jazz art ones that I haven't actually played around with too much yet um, and yeah um, for the whites um, highlights I used a Signo Uniball gel pen which I really love that is a staple um, but I think I just rushed the line art and I think my pen is drying out and I think I need to invest in some fine liners because I think it's a bit too thick for this piece I really wanted to get some more finer detail in there but um, things to learn for next time I guess anyway um, I really hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to stay up to date with videos you should subscribe and I try to upload every Monday at least and um, hit that bell so you're notified when I do upload I really want to get into the habit of uploading more videos a week but it, it just it is a bit comp it is a bit hard to do that at the moment um, because of my current headspace but that aside I, I, I am gonna try I'm gonna try my hardest and I'd like to have you here for the videos the future videos anyway and um, as I mentioned before all my social media is down in the description below there is a red bubble there is a society six um, that I need to update a bit more regularly but you know uh, stuff life gets in the way but anyway um, I like I said I really hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching I really appreciate it and that is it for me and I will talk to you all very very soon bye
Let's go.